Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School and we're back in Lightroom today and I'm going to show you the shortcut keys that I use uh, in Lightroom. I've had many requests of people asking me about that, uh, comparing them to Photoshop and what can be done for them to improve the speed of their workflow through keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to give you my favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use in Lightroom, plus a few that I don't really use but I found could be quite useful for, for most of you guys. So uh, let's get down to business right now. All right, we're going to start with the library module. Now, some of these functions can be done in all modules, um, but um, some of them are only in library. So I'll go through, through them here. Th those are basically the ones that I would use in library mode. All right, the first thing is the tab key. Now, if I hit the tab key, what happens is that both of my side menus disappear. Now if, now if you want to get rid of all the, the menus uh, on top, on the bottom, everywhere, just click Shift and Tab at the same time and everything disappears. Now this is a great viewing mode um, that I like to use. Now Shift Tab again and it brings everything back. Now another feature that I like to use when I want to show uh, my selections to people is the lights out feature. Using the L on your keyboard, you click it once and it fades to about 80% black. You click it twice and you're in completely black and all you see is your image. I love this, especially combined with a shift tab. You see how it increases the size of the image because I removed all the menus and bring that back. Hit L again, and you're back in normal light. All right, moving right along here. We're currently in the loop view in the library module, which means that you see one image at a time. Now, if you want to go see your thumbnails, you hit G for grid view. Now, you can see that all the thumbnails are there. Now, if you want to get back to the loop view, just press the E key. And it brings you back. So E and G I use very much. And another one that I use even more than that is the D key, D for develop. So once you have an image there and you say, oh, good, I want to go and post process that image right away, just hit the D key. There we go. We're right into the develop module. All right, let me just click back into the library here. Arrows pretty basic you guys should know this already but just in case I'll show you so back and forth the right and left arrows will scroll through the strip the film strip at the bottom and you'll move forward or backwards within your images another one that's pretty cool is the F2 key if you hit the F2 key you see that it says file name you can actually change the file name right here there's a drop down menu and you can choose what kind of uh, file name you want uh, in terms of customized file name. All right, I'll cancel that. That could be useful. I personally don't really use it that often, but uh, it can be useful for some of you guys. The next thing that's really important and that I do all in the library module is the ratings system. Now, the three basic ones here um, that I start to use is P, and what P does is that it flags the image. You see the white flag appeared here. Now, if you made a mistake and you didn't want to flag it, if you press F, uh, P again, uh, it doesn't remove it. What you need to do is click on U for unflag. All right. Now, if you want to select this image for further deletion later on uh, as a reject, you can press the X key and you can say it says select it as rejected and it has this flag here with the X, the black flag with an X on it. Again you can press U and it'll remove the flag. Alright, now once you've selected all your image for deletion with the X key, what you can do, there's a shortcut here, it's control backspace and what that'll do it'll delete every single image. Let me just press it here, control backspace, and it shows all the, the flagged rejected images. Right now I've only done one as, as an example. And then you have the option to delete from disk or remove from library. I usually delete them from the disk. 
but that's the shortcut key. And that's pretty much it for the library module. Moving into the develop module. And these are the only two modules we'll be doing today um, because they're the most important ones. I rarely use slideshow, print, and web. Uh, web a, a little bit more. Sometimes I, I put together um, um, a small specific portfolio for a client to see and I'll upload that to the web. But if not, I'm always in library and develop. All right, into the develop module. A few little uh, keys that I really like to see. Let's say I want to have a quick glimpse and see if this image would look good in black and white. I just press the V key and it converts my image into grayscale. That's not bad, is it? I like that. All right, you press V again and it brings it back. Now, you know you have your white balance uh, pipette right here, selection tool. Uh, but if uh, you don't want to use your mouse once again, there is the W key for white balance. Just click that and it kind of appears straight on your cursor, wherever you are. All right, I like that a lot. I use it. And the next one is to have access to this panel here. Instead of clicking with your my mouse, you have actually, you can even see the letters in, in, uh, in brackets there. So if you want to crop your image, R, and then you're in that module. And if you want to use the spot removal brush, the healing and cloning brush, the uh, shortcut key is N as in Nancy. And you are in there. The next one is the shortcut M. And that goes to the gradient filter. Right there. And last but not least, K will bring you to your adjustment brush. Those are really cool shortcuts. I use them very often. And it saves me a lot of time. All right. Another one that I'll, I'll use, especially when I, I know there's going to be either black clipping or white clipping, instead of going up here and looking for black clipping, looking for white clipping, if, you know, not in this photo, but if you would see the histogram all the way there, you would press the J key, and you can see those two ends are highlighted. And you can actually see a little bit of black clip clipping in the wings here. It, it shows for as blue and the white clipping would show as red. Those are the default colors. All right, J again, and uh, those are inactive now. All right, now another f really, really important one, instead of just right clicking on your image and going edit in Photoshop, there's also a shortcut key for that. And the shortcut key is, drum roll, control, E. And there you go. The window pops up, edit original or edit a copy, and you'll be brought into Photoshop right away. Now, if you do want to print your images um, and you don't want to go with your mouse and click the print module, you can go straight to the print module by hitting Control-P. And that'll bring you to the print module. There you go. It's that simple. And last but not least, I kept my favorite one for last. I actually learned about this. I actually, I've been using this in Photoshop a lot. I never thought about it for Lightroom. When I'm using especially the adjustment brush or the cloning brush, uh, let's say I'm, I'm zoomed in and I want to do some work here, and then I want to move in my image, all I need to do is uh, press and hold the space bar, and the toggle hand appears, and I can move through my image and I let go of the space bar and I'm back with my uh, brush. So toggle, just hold the space bar down, let go and your brush is back. And those are the shortcuts for the library and develop modules uh, that I use most often. They're my favorites. I hope uh, you discovered a few new ones. Also, if you do have some favorites that I haven't mentioned here, please post them in the comments section. We're all here to learn and we're all eager to, to know why you would use a certain um, uh, quick keyboard shortcut. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out for Yannick's Photo School. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.